Deborah Roffey, what about a cruise? What about a cruise? Deborah Roffey. Ladies and gentlemen, who here loves a holiday? Yeah. Everybody loves a holiday. I love a holiday. I love to go camping, I love to go flying, I love to go self-catering, love to go on a cruise, love all different sorts of holidays. But what about a cruise? A cruise takes you away from your home. It takes you over to exotic places and countries, islands, beautiful sunshine, beautiful places, beautiful cultures. And what else? You don't have to cook. You don't have to clean. You don't have to think for yourself. All you have to do is just turn up when they're feeding you, turn up when they're entertaining you, and just relax and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, I first went on a cruise when I was seven. I have since <coughs> spent six and a half months at sea all up. I've been on ten cruises. Now, the first four were not little cruises, I must say. They were going from England to Australia, then back from Australia to England, and again, the same thing again, from England to Australia, and Australia back to England again. Beautiful. Four weeks and three days at sea, each of those trips. Now you can imagine, as a young person, the amount of, life, of fun and lifestyle that you can have on board for a cruise that length. Fabulous. And best of all, there's no school. That was really, really good. Because you don't have to worry about doing all the things like you know, your assignments and having teachers and all that sort of stuff. But there was one thing that I particularly loved on one of the cruises, and that was Christmas. And do you know, even Santa makes it on the ship. How he got there, I don't know. Didn't see the sleigh. I'm assuming that there was some sort of arrangement with the um, ship's captain. Because if you've seen the files on those ships, they burn a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would have come down that. <laughs> but that was really great fun. However, after that, after those four trips, I'd actually only done one more cruise, and that was before I went into the police force, which many of you know I've been and done in my past. That was lovely, because that was a nice 14 day cruise off to Fiji. Went to Latoka, went to Numia, went to the Isle of Pines, and all those beautiful, lovely islands around the South Pacific. That was really lovely. But then I got married. And I married a man who didn't want anything to do with ships. So, seven years it took me to convince him to go on a cruise. He would go to five-star hotels. He would go bush camping. He'd fly to New Zealand for holidays. But try to talk him into going on a cruise, I'd say, come on darling, what about a cruise? <sighs> nah, no way in the world you're going to get me on a ship. Don't like the water. Nah, no way. Anyway, as I said, seven years later, convinced him to go. So what did we do? Flew to Sydney, fantastic, great flight with ANSET. Remember ANSET? Anybody here fly with ANSET back in the good old days? Got to Sydney, boarded the ship, had a fabulous sail right through the Sydney heads, it was magnificent, and it was all downhill from there. <laughs> we had Cyclone X, whatever the name was, coming <laughs> from the east. So we decided, okay, ship's captain said, we're going to avoid the cyclone approaching us from the east, we're going to go up to the west coast of Yemea. Get halfway up the west coast of Namibia, we have Cyclone Y coming from the west. So he said, Right, we're not going to do that either, now we're going to do a complete U turn and go back to Australia. So we did. So we got to see Cairns, we got to see Townsville, and we got to see Sydney again. So we didn't quite get what we wanted. And on top of all of that, because the weather was so extreme, all of the ship's decks were locked off. So everybody was stuck inside. <laughs> All the wonderful air conditioning, and everyone who's worked in an office knows if one person gets sick, the whole blooming office gets sick. Well, you can imagine with six and a half or six hundred and fifty passengers on board, and about the same equivalent of crew, we were all sick, every one of them. I had a four and a half month old baby with a temperature of thirty, uh, sorry, forty one um, degrees. Trying to contain myself as well, who was sick with the flu as well. So that wasn't a very nice cruise. But, well, we we get home, and my husband goes, Well, that wasn't so bad. We'll go another cruise.
Yes. <laughs> So, two years later, off we went again and had a magnificent cruise, a magnificent time. They feed you, I'm not kidding, non-stop. Five course meals every single time. So breakfast is full on buffets, or you can have the other cart if you want to, and it's literally five courses. Then you have morning tea if you wish, then there's lunch. Another five courses, thank you very much. Or you can go for the buffet upstairs if you prefer. Then there's afternoon tea. Then for dinner, no, not five courses, dinner. Six courses at dinner. So you can imagine, if you don't walk, if you don't use the stairs, and you decide to use the lifts, and sit your bum beside the pool all day long, yes, you're going to get pretty large. So we made a pact. We were going to use the stairs, we were going to walk around the ship, and all the rest of it, and we're not going to try and put on any weight. Thankfully, I brought on 100 grams, which I think was a pretty darn good thing. I think it was probably about four cocktails too many times that day. But it was really good. So if you keep fit by doing stuff like that, you can eat all you like, drink all you like, lose as much money as you like, and come home having had a really fantastic holiday. Who wants to give self catering? Who wants to go bush camping when you can have everything done for you? And as a woman, ladies, I'm appealing to you as a woman, do you really want to be looking after your families when you go on holiday? Isn't the holiday for us to say, right, we're not doing anything. You guys, as in the stewards, are going to look after me. It's my turn to have a holiday. I'm not going to be washing my hands of it. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, what about the cruise?